Hello my lovelies, happy Monday. It is our last week in October. We have Halloween this week. So there's gonna be a little bit of changes to the channel going forward as in the month of November. So we're gonna start posting sign-specific readings instead of all of the usual videos that I post. It's gonna be condensed into your sign-specific reading. So really important that you watch your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus placements and if you don't know what those are, you need to look up your birth chart. You need your birth certificate. It's going to have all the things you need. The time that you were born, the location you were born, and the date you were born. Then you usually need an email for them to send it to you. It should be free. If you don't find a free one, exit out of there and find one that is. So let's see what's happening for the collective, for our last collective weekly for a little while. What's going on? Each of the 12 zodiacs are going to have a weekly message. It's not all going to be available to you on Monday morning, other than um, this next one will be available to you on the 1st of November. That's a Friday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post about four of them a day. So that way I'm not overwhelmed and exhausted, but they will be longer, more in-depth readings. We're going to include the spiritual message in that. We're going to include your love message in that, and we will include some shadow work in that. That way you have a scope of what's happening for you in those seven days. So let's see what's happening. Holy shit. Okay. So, um, well, this week might be a turning point for some of you in your love relationships. You could be accelerating things to the next level, marriage, commitment, children, things like that. A lot of happiness, a lot of partnership and togetherness. All right. It could be with your ideal partner. The King of Cups is who I refer to as the ideal father figure for a reason. He's nurturing. He's romantic. He's empathetic. He's protective. He's trustworthy. He's an all around good guy. Could also be dealing with a Scorpio. We are currently in Scorpio season. You are leaving something or someone behind and moving from conflict and chaos into calmer waters. There is some sort of, um, they're telling me navigation. It's like you're navigating away from something you don't want towards something that you do want. There is a golden opportunity coming in for abundance. This could be a job change for you, some unexpected money coming to you, but it leads to abundance. The Lovers tells us that we do have a choice to make when it comes to love. I love this depiction. It's Beauty and the Beast, and they only have eyes for each other. So very romantic, very nurturing, very protective. And I feel like those might be some components that you're looking for in a committed relationship, marriage, or otherwise. But I do think that by choosing this person who really is nurturing everything that you're looking for, the romance you're looking for, the connection you're looking for, that you're making a valuable choice for your future that leads to the security that you need. So interesting. All right. There could be some conflicts and chaos around. So make sure that you're using some caution there. Go towards peace and away from the chaos. No sort of competition or rivalry. I feel like you blow them out of the water. There is some sort of justice that's coming in. This could be karmic. This could also be something that you're dealing with through courts, contracts, or legal issues. I feel like for some of you, you're like breaking a longstanding commitment or contract and going towards something that's better suited for you. Yes, walking away from what's not serving you. Something has reached its expiration date and it's time to say goodbye. They're telling me sayonara. Death echoes that message of that it's Scorpio energy, but it's also a finale. I feel like you're choosing your happiness over everything else right now and ultimately that's probably what you should choose. It leads to abundance. The Wheel of Fortune tells us we're headed towards a string of good luck. It's something that is destined for you. Nothing can kind of take this away from you that it is energetically already yours. So prepare for a lot of really good stuff the very last week of October. Interesting. We're closing out karmic cycles, toxicity, things that leave us feel like we're stuck or trapped, things that have strings attached, codependencies, and addictions. If it's toxic, it's time to say no to that, and that's something that you're letting go of. You've been through the ringer here in this situation, and I feel like enough is enough. This is like collateral damage. So I feel like we're learning to finally get out of survival mode and learn to live again. What else do they need to see? There is a spark of creativity. So some sort of passion project, um, a passionate new encounter, or the creative juices are flowing. 
It does lead to abundance, but it's going to take some hard work on your part to get there. So know that slow and steady wins the race, but abundance is definitely coming. You may need some time to yourself, some shadow work or some inner work to reflect on what it is that you want out of a situation. Whether it's love, whether it's work, there needs to be some sort of kind of um, plan that you like figure out what's going to work best for you. Do you want to be in a relationship that is a lot of conflict and chaos or would you rather have something that's more nurturing? Somebody is gathering their courage to charge it forward bravely with a new offer. I feel like they're kind of waiting to see if you're free and available before they come in, but they are going to make a brave, bold move towards you. Remember that it takes teamwork to make the dream work. Whatever this ending is opens up opportunities for abundance and good luck to find you. And you are closing out a toxic, painful cycle. 10-10, back to back. So 10-10 could be significant. This is telling you that the torment, the agony, all of the heavy burdens are finally being alleviated. The toxicity is finally exiting your life and we love to see that. Tell me the outcome for this week. What do they need to see? What is their outcome? A new love opportunity that leads to, you know, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups to the Ten of Cups. You're going from brand new. What's weird is I feel like this person is going to realize that you're their person pretty quickly and that this person doesn't want to wait. There isn't hesitation on their part. They know what they want and they see it and they go after it. So there could be like a very short period that you're dating this person and then it may escalate quickly to a real solid commitment and potentially even marriage pretty quickly. All right, there's a lot of spying. Either they're watching you or you're watching them and this is a whole new world. I feel like travel is something you may have to travel back and forth to see this person. You might travel the world together. Um, you're closing out really toxic cycles and I feel like both people could be so that you can actually come into this beautiful, loving energy full of abundance, creativity, um, like it looks really, really good. So cut out and eliminate the things that don't serve you this week. You do have a wish fulfillment that's coming in, potential for new jobs coming in, more money coming in, as well as this is an indication that you might have to travel, move, or relocate. There's the unexpected offer that is coming in and it leads to abundance. So I feel like wherever you need to really put forth the work this week, Put in the energy because it's going to pay off. You're recovering from all of these toxic things. Money worries are going to be a thing of the past because you're owed a victory. I love it. This is a great way to end the month of October and bring us into November holidays, um, fall season, holiday season, like all of these things are coming full circle. So you might have a lot of eyes on you this week. It could be a potential partner. It could be potential employers. I feel like you really want to put your best foot forward. Make sure that you are putting out quality, whatever kind of work that you do, over quantity. That's going to be huge. The other thing is, is that this person really desires like a future partner. So they're not going to waste your time. If it's not a good fit, you guys are going to uh, separate from each other pretty quickly. But I feel like the person that you start to meet that is new that could potentially be a person where it goes the distance this person will only have eyes for you they desire marriage and commitment they want a person that is theirs and only theirs and I feel like you guys are going to be really shocked how quickly things escalate financially speaking things greatly improve the wheel of fortune the knight of coins the nine of coins lots of abundance to follow have a wonderful week we'll see you soon